What's going on everyone? We have another video for the I read playlist where I read ridiculous comments or ridiculous postings from people trying to sell stuff. Uh, in this case on Craigslist, this is another Craigslist edition. And I was recently scrolling just to see if I could find some decent used graphics card sales on sites like Craigslist. I have a couple from like OfferUp, uh, maybe one or two from eBay, uh, but mostly Craigslist because that's just been the traditional way to sell things online, especially local. Uh, so I went all across the states trying to find some uh, decent deals actually for once and I really struggled to come across graphics cards that were anywhere close to MSRP still there's been a lot of talk about eBay uh, having their prices drop significantly closer to the original MSRP of some of these cards like the 1070 for around 400 450 dollars and that's you know that's great and all but that's still not what they should be they should be under 400 bucks now uh, especially after the 1080 Ti release that bumped the 1080 uh, price down to about 450 500 dollars the 1070 should be Fair market value right now around $350 and in the ballpark, uh, but we're not seeing that still. And you'll see that uh, as well in some of these Craigslist ads. People still want ridiculous sums of cash for their cards. So I hope you enjoy and maybe uh, have a laugh out of this one. All right, so the low prices always catch me, especially when the words graphics cards are included in the title. This guy wants 55 bucks for, I kid you not, a Titan XP box. The GPU obviously is not included there. I didn't know this was a thing. Apparently, he says that uh, they're selling for much more online, right? So the resale value of these is around 100 bucks or so, apparently, on eBay. And he's obviously doing you a service by only asking 55 bucks per box. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, sure. In my opinion, this is like putting like the, a Core i7 sticker on like a, a PC running an Intel Atom processor. I don't know, something like that. This is just, I don't know why you'd want these boxes. I guess they're beautiful. Never owned one. I probably never will, especially at these prices. Now, this one was so funny. I actually shared this on Twitter. I couldn't help myself. These are little gaming boxes, right? So these are the, the boxes that you would hook up to like an Ultrabook via a Thunderbolt 3 cable, and you could run discrete graphics on those laptops. So, and essentially what this is is just a GTX 1070 in an enclosure that has a couple Thunder, uh, Thunderbolt 3 ports, uh, has a you know dedicated power port, and that's literally it. So people are buying these, they're ripping the graphics cards out of them, and then just trying to sell the boxes. So he's trying to sell just the box without a graphics card in it for $160. I just think it's funny that that's what it's come to. Like, we are resorting to buying these things, ripping the main components out of them, and then trying to sell the shells. Like... <laughs> It's just so sad. All right, this will be a good one. $4,500 asking price for a custom professional high-powered PC. Uh, the specs right off the top of the bag and tell you he's he's asking way more than he should. He's got a single 1080 Ti. Okay, let's give him a thousand bucks. Let's just say a thousand dollars for that card. And uh, an i7 7800X, which for all intents and purposes is an 8700K that you shouldn't buy. You shouldn't buy this one right here. This is a this is a ridiculous processor. It really shouldn't exist. Um, and that's going to use the X299M platform. He has look. He even listed the thermal paste as like the third. <laughs> the third component in this list. H115i from Corsair, X299 Prime from Asus. He's got 64 gigs of RAM. Okay, I'll admit that's a crap ton of money, all right? But it still puts us nowhere near $4,500 territory. So, I mean, it's not like he's using a really expensive case either, to be frank. He's also including an ultra-wide monitor from LG, but these run for, I mean, like, Two, three hundred dollars used. I don't even know. A lot cheaper than that. Uh, but th yeah, this is this is over the top. His asking price is ridiculous, and I would be very surprised if he even gets an offer at this price point. Now, this is an Ethereum mining rig. Looks like a custom-built chassis. Six RX 588 gig cards. Uh, the other components in here are pretty useless, to be frank. An Intel processor. Like he's so vague about it because. So let me zoom in here. He's vague because it's probably like a you know a Celeron or a Pentium, a 120 gig SSD and only four gigs of RAM, H81 motherboard, a beefy power supply obviously to power six cards, uh, but he is asking a hefty premium for this. He's asking for almost a thousand dollars per card, and unless he's bundling something else that brings this price up to well above three thousand dollars, this is a uh, this is a bit outrageous here. All right, now here's one that looks deceiving. This might look, just at first glance, like a pretty sweet deal. You're getting basically a whole platform here, right? CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, which is enough for 99% of you, and a motherboard for 250 bucks. But then scroll down, you see what he's 
what he's including in that. An AMD FX 6300 might as well be a space heater. Uh, we got a Gigabyte GA78 LMT. This is a bare bones motherboard. I remember back in the day these were selling for 50, 60 bucks. It was a fairly cheap board. I did own this exact board, by the way. And then we have 16 gigs of DDR3, Crucial Ballistics, and that's it, right? So if we say that the 16 gigs of RAM is, I don't know, I, 16 gigs of DDR3, I don't, it doesn't equate evenly to DDR4 in terms of price. So DDR4 would be around 200 bucks or so for this. Let's say it's 100, 150, let's give them 150 bucks, okay? Just because it's used, $150 for this 16 gigs you know, kit of RAM. And then the motherboard, which I wouldn't pay a dime over 20 bucks for, and that's probably doing it a service it doesn't deserve. I mean, look, we got we got IDE connectors on this thing. Uh, and then an FX 6300, oh, check that out. CPU cooler included. Well, I would hope so. It's the stock cooler. All right, now at first glance, this card also might appear overpriced, but this is a full-fledged 1080 Ti here, Gigabyte Aorus Edition. It's a beefy cooler from a reliable company. Only a $700 asking price. You know, this isn't too bad. Most of these cards are going for eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars even uh, elsewhere. So occasionally you'll find something like this not too far from the initial MS RP, uh, and you, you'll probably feel pretty comfortable in this current market paying that price. I think this is from the same seller, a GTX 1070 this time, a Gigabyte G1 card, $400, which literally is the MSRP of a 1070, or was the MSRP of a 1070 back when it was released. Uh, so this this actually isn't too bad at all. I mean, you're you're not getting the price discount, right, with kind of the, the maturing of, of the hardware, uh, but you probably aren't going to feel any buyer's remorse paying 400 bucks for this right now, again, in the current market. All right, this one here, just a typical you know overpriced graphics card offers uh, $850 for a GTX 1070 Ti this isn't like a for the win 2 edition or anything like that from EBJ just kind of a run-of-the-mill 1070 Ti and uh, he's very explicit right you can use these for mining uh, and they're selling for apparently $1,000 so they're really hard to come by apparently these have a really great like you know uh, mega hash to watt ratio it's basically how effective the card is at mining per unit power consumed on uh, the 1070 and the 1070 ti are pretty sweet so that's why these are usually very expensive online 850 bucks though not a chance in my book all right now you're probably looking at me like greg why are you throwing a pre-built in here because of the bargain if you really think about what you're getting in this if you want to just take all these components out put them into a custom case call it a custom build do whatever you want with it you know the how you feel about the way the case looks on the outside is uh really not important here because the price is actually pretty good so you're getting a 7700 uh i7 which isn't the you know that's that's kb lake it's not coffee lake but still it's a really great i7 one of the best for gaming 16 gigs of ram which is enough a gtx 1070 a 256 gig ssd and a one terabyte hard drive uh this i haven't checked online how much it retails for uh, but if you just broke this down parts wise about 300 bucks for this let's say for let's let's say 500 dollars for a 1070 right so that's $800 already. 16 gigs of RAM puts us at near $1,000. So you're already getting a pretty sweet deal. And that's not including the storage drives, the motherboard, or the power supply. XFX AMD Radeon RX Vega 56. This is all pretty redundant. And a $1,500 asking price. That is insane. Entire PCs that could perform with graphics cards better than this thing can be built for less than fifteen hundred dollars i'm just saying one two three four five six seven eight nine ten he's got 20 of them here so 20 times 800 at sixteen thousand dollars in graphics cards you're looking at right here assuming he gets what he's asking for for every one of these this is another 980 ti that is fairly priced again we're talking basically 1070 performance here with a little extra power draw uh, on the maxwell side uh, this is the reference cooler so it will be a bit louder maybe run a bit hotter uh, but for 325 bucks heck if i live near here i'd probably buy that for uh, for a new gaming pc just because this is going to pull really anything in 1080p and 1440p and if you wanted a comparable 1070 card we're talking upwards of six seven hundred dollars which is twice the asking price of this one all right what do we have here rx 580 plus ram plus cp plus power supply all right so i love how he like groups all these up in the title right so he's acting like he's going to bundle all of this stuff for 225 dollars which would be an insane deal regardless i think of what ram or cpu he's throwing in there uh, but he's just selling the rx 580 for 225 bucks this is also not bad at all so uh this is actually an 8 gig card too this is the 8 gig variant 
And unless I'm reading something wrong in here, his asking price for the card is $225. So yeah, he might be trying to mislead you. He kind of did in the title anyway. But if he's just talking about the card here, this is an excellent price. I don't expect if that's the case, this ad will be around much longer. All right, now this one, an RX 484 gig card for 220 bucks. This one's, it's not, you know, outrageous. He's not asking $400, $500 like some other people are. We'll get to those shortly. Uh, but this is an example of like an okay deal in today's market. Market, so he's not trying to price gouge it. He probably did pay a bit less for it I'm assuming unless he bought it, you know during the middle of the mining craze and uh, I will have to say that this is also one of the better deals that you'll see in this video I want to get these kind of out of the way first because things get pretty rough later on here Let's go ahead and move on to the next one scrolling through this one looked pretty cool I saw three graphics cards like wow, okay three-way SLI. Maybe he's got some Maxwell stuff in here But no GeForce 9800 GTX uh, and then we got a Phenom 2x4 965CPU, 4-core CPU, uh, and he's using the stock AMD cooler. This thing, honestly, I mean, this is going to perform worse than my five to $600 build that I put together in this video right here. So you're more or less paying for like the vintage aspect here to have three 9800 GTXs. Uh, but even though you got three of them in here, remember SLI kind of degrades performance wise with every card that you throw into it. It's also not going to be very efficient. Uh, it'll be probably very loud and the frame rate will be rather disappointing considering, you know, in the back of your head, you got three graphics cards in there. They're just so old. They're not really going to keep up with modern titles. This one looked pretty sweet. Uh, i7 8700K, GTX 1080 Ti, all the good stuff you want RGB. Uh, it's got a 570X case from Corsair. The total price for this, according to the seller, is $2,850. But again, if we just break it down, this, let's say let's say 400 bucks for this. So let's give them the benefit of the doubt. $400. Um, let's do another 200 That's 600 bucks. And then another 150 at 750 uh, And then so $750, not including storage or the cooler. 750 plus, let's say $1,000 for this, worst case. So that's 1,750 bucks. The case is, what is the case running at for? 200 bucks, uh, 1,950. And then the power supply, let's say another 150 bucks. So $2,100. And all we have left is the cooler and the SSD and we're still not at $2,850. So again, just kind of run through these prices in your head, just ballpark them, and if it seems reasonable, maybe you can haggle. If they're asking this much though, $2,800, $2,800 is just, that's out of the ballpark for this. Now this is an example of a great deal. Look at that, 8700K, 16 gigs of RAM, GTX 1080, 240 gig SSD, one terabyte hard drive, and Windows included for $1,349. Just break it down, $400 here, that's $200, that's 600 bucks. And then where's the graphics card? 600 bucks right here is another, let's say $600. Let's say worst case 600 bucks for a 1080, right? Maybe a little more than that. That's already $1,200 plus the liquid cooler. That puts us around 1300 bucks. Boom, that's already what he's asking for. So you're getting uh, an extra, you're getting the motherboard, you're getting a hard drive, you're getting an SSD. Sorry about that. You're getting uh, the case and you're getting a power supply basically for free in the current market. Or if you wanna look at this another way, you're paying almost pre-mining craze MSRP for this build, which in today's era is pretty sweet. This one at first glance looked pretty good, right? You get a gaming PC and an HTC Vive, which used to be about, what, five, 600 bucks for only $950. I was like, wow, I get a VR kit for free. But then I scrolled down. I mean, the PC looks decent. Looks like he knows what he's doing. He only has an, an XFX RX 560 in here. But this is where I have a huge problem, right? An RX 560 for VR is not going to work. And I think the, the I think an RX 480 or an RX 580 uh, or 570 is the bare minimum. And the reason why those are the minimum is because you need around 90 FPS with VR to enjoy the, the experience. If you only do 60 FPS that close, it causes headaches and things people have found out. So that's why the, the system requirements of VR are pretty high. I mean, he says down here, the Vive is a complete VR uh, system and runs pretty well on this computer as it stands, but will definitely grow with you as you get more acclimated to what VR can or can't do reasonably. I'll tell you what it can't do. It, you can't, it won't run on an RX 560. That was his first mistake. He's, he's probably got a really bad impression of VR now, uh, but this system just can't keep up with that. Now this is actually a pretty sweet deal here. I was looking through the list of things he's including. So for some reason, he never actually built this PC, but he's got everything brand new in their boxes. A Ryzen 1700, uh, Asus Crosshair 6, He's got a 960 Pro 512 gig NVMe SSD, an 850 Evo 500 gig SSD. 
Uh, 16 gigs of Trident Z DDR4 and ASUS Strix 1070 Ti EVGA G2 850 watt power supply, and he's literally bundling it all for just $900. He's not parting it out piece by piece. You got to buy it all at once, but still, 900 bucks. If I lived near this guy, I would buy this stuff in a heartbeat for that price. Here's one that kind of made me chuckle. So this guy is selling a super high-end PC I put together less than four months ago. So a custom loop. You know, he's, he's got the right components, right? I7 8700. K, a Z370 board, 16 gigs of RAM, he's got a GTX 1080 Ti Water Force uh, graphics card, a 960 Evo NVMe SSD, 250 gigs, and then he's got a 500 watt power supply. This is probably a bit underkill, I'd, I'd suggest maybe six to 700 watts, even though 500 is still fine, you can get away with this, uh, but to stay well within your, your efficiency curve, 600 to 700 watts is probably his comfortable range so this i would want to upgrade but then he goes on to say one of the best gaming pcs on craigslist right now kills 4k games attaining 60 plus fps in most titles buttery smooth gameplay and instant load times i mean i'm not sure about like the best gaming pc on craigslist i've probably seen better PCs on Craigslist just scrolling through this particular location. Uh, but, you know, when they hype it up like this, it, it, it just, you don't want to oversell it, right? Because you know, then people start wondering what's wrong with it. If, if it's that great, dude, why are you selling it? Oh, and by the way, this is still an extremely high asking price. He's saying that his uh, graphics card with the water block costs $1,400 new on Amazon. I'm not sure if he paid that much or if he thinks he's going to get that much out of it, but he's, I mean, people would have to be crazy to pay this much money to this dude for this system. All right, here's one from OfferUp. I got a laugh out of this one. Someone on Twitter shared this, so thank you to whoever that was. I'm sorry I didn't pay closer attention, but this guy wants $725. Let me zoom in here. $725 bucks for, you're reading that right folks, an RX 480 8 gig model. I mean, at least he's got the 8 gig variant here, but 725 bucks, check this out, he's so standoffish too. If you find it somewhere else for cheaper, go buy it there and don't waste my time. He already says he's willing to go down to 650. I don't know why he didn't just put 650 in the, you know, the actual price box. If you're serious about making an offer, contact me. Bought it in the summer of 2017 which means that you paid near MSRP for this card, which would have been around 250 bucks. So you want three times what you paid for the card back after roughly a year. And here's our last one. This is a gaming PC for $2,800, ending uh, on in good spirits here. An i7 8700K, 16 gigs of RAM, a Z370 board, one terabyte SSD, master case, five RGB, 650 watt gold plus, EVGA 1080, and a Noctis D15, that's that giant air cooler you're seeing there. He wants, so uh, what is this? $2,800. Let's do one last price breakdown then. So i7 8700K, that's about 400 bucks. This is 200 bucks. That's six hundred dollars or so. Uh, let's let's give him 200 bucks for this. So 600. That's plus 200. 800 dollars. One terabyte SSD. We'll skip that for now. 800 bucks. Um, let's move on to the graphics card. Okay, graphics card is another maybe 800 bucks. That's 1600 dollars. 100 bucks for the cooler. 1700 bucks. Uh, $1,800, let's say $1,900, and then whatever one terabyte SSD is going for right now. So we still need to make up for roughly $800 to $1,000 to come close to this asking price, which, mind you, is, you know, you're, you're paying for used parts here. You're not buying brand new components. So if you wanted to build this yourself, you actually could spend a lot less than this in the current market and still build a comparable PC. Um, that This one's probably not gonna sell at this price either. Then again, I've been wrong before about this kind of stuff. Somebody might see it and go, wow, looks like a really great deal. So folks, that is all I have for this one. I tried to throw in more ads this time and focus less on like the really absurd ones, just so you guys can get a feel for the entire market. I went pretty much all across the states. Uh, I'm not sure where that one offer up ad was. I think it was LA. So I went through uh, Florida. I went up to Atlanta. I went up to, I want to say it was Virginia. And then we went kind of in the middle St. Louis area, went down south to Houston you know, and Austin areas and, and Texas. Uh, and then we went to LA and then up to Seattle. I kind of try to follow like that zigzag path up to the northwest of the country just to get a feel for all the prices across the country. And it's pretty consistent. What I think I can say is that 
the big cities are going to have usually the best deals, but then again, they might be asking for more because they're in big cities. So, you know, people have like this, this notion in their head that they can charge more for a product because the cost of living is higher in that area. And that might be true to an extent, especially in this market. But uh, nonetheless, prices right now on Craigslist are not doing too well. I'm almost just willing to say that you're going to have a better time uh, shopping on eBay because there you're getting just, you know, usually just certain items, right? You can hunt for specifically graphics cards and find a lot more of those offers on a site like eBay. So the chance of you finding a pretty decent deal are going to be a lot higher than on a site like Craigslist. And most people on Craigslist aren't willing to ship anyway. So you're going to have a much broader audience from which to reach. That said, if you like this video, let me know, give this one a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thumbs down for the opposite. Click subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more content like this. This is Science Studio. Thanks for hunting with us. I don't know why I pointed that way.